Good afternoon, FBC Salinas. This is Pastor John coming to you with another edition of the Midweek Refresher video. Certainly hope your week is going well, and I'm here at the major scene that we have set up for Streets of Bethlehem. Also here with a few friends, these goats, and I'm hoping over the course of this video that they continue conducting themselves as goats conduct themselves. Certainly hope that all is well with you, and want to go over a couple announcements for you before we get into one of the items that has been really hitting me pretty hard uh, this year and but the first announcement is this this sunday we'll gather for worship again yeah, looking forward to that uh, being together again it's available on youtube and if you'd like to do the interactive service that's at 10 30 sunday morning at fbc salinas.online.church all right so that's uh this sunday second thing is this you will be receiving your monthly letter that I've been sending out through this season of COVID, sort of giving you a synopsis of, of what I'm experiencing as well as different opportunities that are presented in that upcoming month. And this month is Christmas month, obviously, and so our Christmas offering this year is going to go towards uh, Faraha, and Faraha is the is the uh, area, the neighborhood that uh, when I grow up deals with, and when I grow up is is overseen by Gilbert Foster, who's a good friend of the, of the church here. And so we're going to be raising money for them for shoes. And for every $5 that we raise, it provides one pair of shoes. And so that's one way that you can contribute to the Christmas offering. You'll see an envelope like this in your, in the, in, within the letter there, as well as uh, the other envelopes that we put in there uh, to for you if you desire to give gifts that way. The second way that you can contribute to the Christmas offering this year is by buying shoes, and it's explained in the letter, uh, for little girls or, or young girls and young boys, sizes three, four, five, and six, for homeless children that are here in Salinas. A number of years ago, we did a clothing drive for them, and so this year I reached out to them and they said, hey, we need shoes, and so again, Again, there's a shoe theme here, right, for, for our Christmas offerings. And so those are explained in the letter. Wanted to alert you to that. If you're going to buy these, if you're going to buy some shoes for girls or boys, you'll simply drop them off here at the church. So that's how that's going to happen there. So if you want to make a contribution of $5, it buys one pair of shoes for children in Nairobi, Kenya. If you'd like to buy a purchase a new pair of shoes uh, for people here that are homeless children here in Salinas. You'll drop those off here at the church. There's also an opportunity for you to express some appreciation to the staff like you do every Christmas season. So wanted to alert you to that and hope that all's going well there. Streets of Bethlehem this week and it is uh, it starts this evening. We're looking forward to how the Lord is going to use this and what's interesting is just months ago we were wondering if we were even going to be able to do this but because of flexibility because of flexibility, people said, there's a way that we can make this happen. And that word flexibility has hit me pretty hard in 2020. You'll notice I'm wearing a Steelers jersey. And the reason why I'm wearing a Steelers jersey is as this is being filmed, there is, for the first time in NFL history, a football game going on. The Steelers are playing the Ravens. The NFL has had to be flexible. I confess to you, that I struggle with flexibility. This whole year has been nothing but making, being flexible about this or being flexible about that. And in the midst of it, it drives me crazy. I'll just tell you that right now. And oftentimes I wonder how Jesus dealt with being flexible. And we come to this passage in Luke chapter nine, where we read these words, as the time approached for him to be taken up to heaven, Jesus resolutely set out for Jerusalem. He was committed to getting to Jerusalem. From this point in Luke's gospel to the end, you'll see Luke will drop these different city names in there, and every city is a little bit closer to Jerusalem because Jesus resolutely set out for them. And he sent messengers, this is verse 52, and he sent messengers on ahead who went into a Samaritan village to get things ready for him. But the people there did not welcome him because he was heading for Jerusalem. When the disciples James and John saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call fire down from heaven to destroy them? I always crack up with their response to this is, you talk about being inflexible. These guys said, listen, 
this is where we need to go. We're going to get there. And if we have to call down fire from heaven, we're going to make that happen. But yep, Jesus' response is this. Jesus turned and rebuked them. Then he and his disciples went to another village. Jesus understood flexibility. Jesus understood the importance of pivoting to keep moving forward for the kingdom of God. As we do Streets of Bethlehem this week, it occurred to me that Mary and Joseph from the very beginning had to be flexible. They're weary from that travel. They show up in Bethlehem longing for a place to be open and yet they had to be flexible enough to end up in a manger. God works through flexibility. And one of the lessons that he's taught me this year is to be flexible. And I, I got to tell you, it's December 2nd, and I'm still struggling, struggling, struggling mightily with being flexible. And yet in the midst of it, I realize that God pivots me, he pivots us, so that we can continue moving forward for him. I invite you this week, I invite you this month to participate in being flexible with God allowing him to maneuver in your life, leading you forward to him so that you'll understand more fully just who he is and how good he is. I love you. I'm praying for you. I'm grateful for you. And I invite you to join me as we seek to be the flexible people that God calls us to be throughout our lives. God bless you. Have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.